What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is all about the Baleen class heavy freighter. It was manufactured by Corellian Engineering Corporation, the same people that gave us the YT-1300 and the CR-90 Corvettes. So it's pretty interesting to see that Han just sticks to ships made from his homeworld, going from Millennium Falcon to the Aravana. Some estimates put it around 130,000 credits, but I think that this is far too low, as it would be less than the cost of an X-Wing, and the GR-75 medium transport is 350,000 credits, and is only about one-fifth the length. I don't think we can just multiply by five, but it certainly would cost somewhere around a million credits. At a length of 426 meters, or 1,398 feet, it was nearly three CR-90s long, and one-third the length of the Venator. At 232 meters, or 761 feet wide, it was half as wide as the Venator, or you could think of it as this mouth could swallow up a Raider-class Corvette. While at a height of 80 meters, or 262 feet, meant that the interior could stack up around six YT-1300s high, and externally, would stand taller than two ATM-6s. Up in this cockpit, the pilot, co-pilot, and usually six additional crew members would use a series of tractor beams to move cargo into place. The primary role of this ship was to deliver massive shipments across the galaxy, stopping at different planetary spaceports, where the cargo would then be spread out and delivered across the planet via an array of smaller cargo transports. It was equipped with a Class II hyperdrive, much faster than the GR-75, and it even beats out the Zeta-class cargo shuttle, but is confirmed to not have any weaponry. I wouldn't doubt that Han and Chewie may have modified theirs, but the way it came stock makes me think that this ship definitely was used with escorts or just restricted to highly secured areas. Its top atmospheric speed was 750 kilometers per hour, or 466 miles per hour, making it slower than a Thai bomber, so there weren't a lot of things in place to prevent raids from pirates. Catching one of these could be a massive haul, and although there are no cargo stats, we can use the area of this section to make an educated guess. It is about 183 meters by 146 meters, or 26,728 meters squared, and the larger 40-foot cargo containers from Earth have a top area of 320 square meters. This means that about 84 could fit, but I think we could get at least two layers, so we'll say 168. Now, a dewback has a length of three meters and a height of two meters, so two could fit in every container, meaning you could supply an entire colony with a single baleen class delivery, and that doesn't even address the amount of banthas that you could have grazing in this village-sized mouth. Of course, this was not what Han was carrying. Instead, he had collected at least three Rathars, which were accidentally released during the fighting that ensued when the Guavian Death Gang in Kanja Club tracked down Solo only just after he had finally tracked down the Falcon. Luckily, our good guys were able to escape by making a dangerous jump to hyperspace and his good old Corellian freighter. So that's it for its history, but a really cool fact is that the small paragraphs of lore that we have on this ship make it clear that they were essential to galactic trade, being the most commonly used heavy freighter, and would have been a regular occurrence at massive spaceports, which is the same role the YT-1300 had. The Falcon was a great smuggling ship because it was so ubiquitous, being a cheap and effective freighter that a lot of companies used to move cargo across the galaxy, so Han was just able to blend in with normal shipments. This would have been true for the Baleen class too, and fits the new trilogy's tendency to supersize things, having Han go from a light freighter up to a heavy freighter. Also, people in the comments section of our last video, on the First Order cruiser, thought that Finn may have been worried that he had been captured by the First Order, since these two ships do have some visual similarities. Definitely a cool idea I wanted to share. But that's it for the Baleen class heavy freighter. But most important of all, remember, you'll never know what you find in shipping containers coming back from the Outer Rim, and the Force will be with you. Always.